Welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Hard and Uncut. I'm going to jump quickly over here to show you what I've done in the 20 seconds between episodes. So I came in here and I saw we had, when I looked in here, all we had was tourist, 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 and measure temperature, measure temperature, measure temperature, measure temperature in different places around Kerbin. So I got rid of some of them and it allowed some more missions to spawn. So we've got science data from space around Kerbin, we've got science data from space around the moon, and we've got science data from the surface of the moon. So that gives us a nice target. We've also got this poodle engine to do, but I'm not going to touch that just now. Anyway, these two potentially give us enough, or will, will give us enough to really to, to move on to our getting the maneuver nodes, and then potentially do some other stuff. It will give us enough for probably another craft after that. Problem is, if I want to do the docking one, I need two craft. And... Yeah, that's a problem for me, shall we say. So I'm going to try and go for this one. We're going to try and land on the moon without docking, with, with 30 parts, without maneuver nodes. Um, thank you to the people, uh, to, to, to one person in particular in Discord who gave me an example of a craft that they think could land and they, they think they did that. Um, I'm not going to use it uh, primarily because um, I, I want to actually see if we can adapt one of the ones we've got. I may use that one for Minmus or something like that, but I want to make sure I'm not not just relying on everybody. But yeah, it was really good, and it actually it actually gave me some ideas. Particularly the uh, well, you'll see, you will see what I'm I'm going to do. So uh, we're going to open up uh, Mun Two. There's a Mun Three there. What's Mun Three? Have I played around with that? I don't think I had. Anyway, uh, that's not what I actually wanted. Maybe I loaded somebody's up anyway. Um, save that as, as that. Overwrite that. Okay. Um, that's weird. So, what we're going to do with this, this is Mun 2. We sent this last time. We are going to um, take away these parachutes first of all. They're excess. We don't need them. Uh, because, you know what? Pfft, last throw of the dice. We're going to take this off. We're going to take the engine off. We're going to take this tank and this tank and replace them. With a, this is what I was originally going to do. I was going to replace them with a single one of these. So we'll put that there. Right. Of course, it would help if you put the engine back on sea monsters. That is often a good idea. Now, landing. We have landing gear, do we? Yes, we do. We're going to buy that. Okay. We're going to put that on to here. And I'm going to go for... How many, how many parts do I have left? Uh, it would help if I actually attached the whole rocket, wouldn't it? Right. That gives me... So I can have three legs. I can have three legs, okay. Um, what do I want my legs for is the question. I want them to give me some stability because if I, t I could land it on just the nozzle, but I think that way leads to insanity. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I don't want to do that. So this may go horribly wrong. We're gonna move these in and down like so, uh, about there. So what happens when I when I bring them in. Let's have a look. Retract. Oh, they're still they're still there. You know what? For the clipping factor and the fact that it agitates me that I'm clipping through a tank, I'm just going to leave them where they were on the outside. Right, so let's uh, extend that. Right, that goes down far enough. Okay, I love the noise. Yeah. Uh, we're going to start them retracted. We're going to change these. I actually want the, these things to be max. I want maximum springs. We don't want these things bobbling when they go down and they hit something i want them to be the thing that hits it right that gives me 30 parts so that's science from the moon that's science from the surface of the moon science from the surface of the moon okay i think i think that's okay i think i'm happy with that we do not have a clipping on there the alternative i had thought about was uh yeah these things we have these these from i think they were uh, making history parts they're six thousand though um which is a bit of an investment actually. So it'd be 6,000 and that's a big eat out of what we're doing. I would have, I should have really got these earlier on actually, if I'm honest. Um, oh, it's got an engine built in, has it? Oh, that's the uh, that's the decouplers. So they, they have a lot of fuel in them. Um, so I don't know. Yeah, a little bit of fuel in them to separate them. Um, might stop these things hitting me. Oh, the other thing I want to do. <laughs> Yes, while we're here. Take this, rotate it. There we go. That That's now in line with that. That's clipping. Oh, brilliant. Um, uh, it'll just have to clip. No, it won't. We'll just have to migrate things. Right, um, put this on here. 
fix this down a bit just to smidge this down a bit there you go okay now we're not clipping anymore right i think that is us done we are done with it's taken about four and a half minutes to do that we're going to save that we're going to go right click on this we're going to get rid of all this stuff we don't don't need that and i don't need that and i think we're ready to go uh, we've got a correct pilot you know i'm assuming yep because that'll be about you do not want to go on this mission so Senec first you do not want to go on this mission right let's um let's go i think let's launch this thing um i'm hoping i'm hoping there's enough delta v to a land i think i think there should be um the landing legs actually are a little bit i i'm maybe being a little bit uh, i i potentially could land it on the uh, thank you very much i could potentially land it on the um on the engine but uh, that way leads to insanity so we're, there we go right we're gonna take off and um it's nice and stable i think at the moment so it's gonna start it just rocking oh that way just a smidgen there we go um this should be okay this should be there we go we're gonna put it onto the progrid so we'll let it do its launch for for us this time uh, which means i can speed you up a bit there we go um and we can always slow the engine down this might be a bit too of a an aggressive gravity turn i might be going a bit i might have been overconfident with it i might have been too nice to it we're just gonna tap a little bit I mean, you see i'm tapping the thing just to hold it at the top of there uh, to try and pull it up there um we're getting out of the atmosphere pretty quick we're gonna drill drill those back a bit there we go like so we don't want too much air resistance wind resistance and so forth very very heavy tapping there we go i think that's that's better that's more more what i want probably should see what our altitude is going to be we're out of the thicker stuff so we can ramp the engines up just a smidgen um, and hopefully we will actually be on our our jolly way soon i like the sound of those engines sounds better all of a sudden that's interesting is it has it always sounded that good don't know i don't know sea monsters has it always sounded that good that's a good question oh we've lost those get rid of them oh what, what just hit what just hit what, what did we blow up nothing okay right i think we're okay i think we're still go for orbit i think we're we're not on a port that was like an apollo 13 situation wasn't it right okay okay still going over maybe a bit shallow on that there but uh We'll pull up a bit we'll go we'll go like that we'll just let it keep going the, i forgot this stage has got is going to have a really poor thrust away isn't it what's the thrust away 1.2 basically oh that's terrible that is terrible we're already going in the right direction we don't want to be fighting against gravity like we're not fighting too heavily against gravity so that's okay so we're gaining a little bit of altitude i wish i could see the time uh, we are cr encroaching on our apoapsis but that doesn't matter that does not matter we're, we're up in the high the high bits of the atmosphere now so we've got minimum minimum sort of resistance to from air so that's not a problem actually there yeah, we go we're on orbital um yeah we're gonna be we're gonna be over 70 and once we're over 70 i can basically play how i like with this craft in fact we can do it now we can just go straight to flat there we go we don't need to be fighting gravity anymore uh, and all we're doing now is going to let that rise up to uh, probably about 80 and then we'll just uh We'll just sit it as it is um, for a while. Yeah, maybe maybe 80. 80 is a good altitude, I think, for getting this thing to. And then we can circularize around 80. It gives us time in case I mess up, if I'm honest with you. Uh, that's good. We'll cut that. Uh, speedy that up to 70, please. Get it up to 70 in, in, in physical time warp because we can't speed you up any other way. There we go. Up to 70. Good right um i'm gonna do that we don't need much more actually so if we go to 75 put a little bit of engine burn on i would really like to save as much of this fuel to help us on our way to the moon as possible because i don't know what my landing profile is going to be like um i may i may completely bodge it up we may actually fail this entire series because i killed the pilot and if we have to spend some of our funds on a new pilot that is going to be a bit of a bit of a killer for me isn't it good to be a bit bad so we will see so let's see our periaps is coming up our apoapse is also coming up which is not really what i want but we'll just uh we'll kill that there actually this this is not this is one of the things why i like having maneuver nodes because you can actually put them in there even if i could just see when the next when my next apoapse periaps is going to be that would just be the the bonus there that would be really nice 
not knowing that actually makes this just a little bit difficult a little bit more difficult so yeah uh, there we go good to that set the engine off go down to the horizon again just sit below it there we are so we're now we're now going to be getting ourselves into an orbit um, just ever so gently you can see our, our perhaps is rising rapidly we're getting a little rise in our apps because we're burning a little bit before apoapsis as you can see and what we could actually do is turn that off and, and I could actually just do a little bit of time warping until we get up there just a little smidgen more up to what it could actually just be dead on now and then do prograde and what I'm actually need to be careful of is that I'm going to actually top up my uh, my electric charge a little bit there there we go that's what I want just going to pop it up there get us up into an orbit there we go that's nice right so there we are we are now in orbit we can turn off SAS and all that stuff where are we I am there where is the moon where is the, the moon is there oh we're right okay so we want to basically just speedy weedy round as quickly as possible please there we go that's better and then I want to do that and start doing this we want to and stop it there right there's the moon we're about to see it so we're going to put us on to prograde hello where are we so the moon should appear just on the horizon probably just as we turn actually we're losing we're using a bit of electricity but remember this engine is going to give us that electricity back because this is a good engine not like that one there right let's have a look are we are we aligned now i see a moon I see a moon there, and I'm going to fire now. There we go. So we've got, what, over 400 meters per second from this stage, which is really good. So that means potentially we're most, we're half of the way there on this engine, uh, which is hugely bonus for us, massive bonus. It gives us all that electric charge for free, basically. And then it kicks us off ready for our next bit. So there we go. Stage that. Why is that engine not started? Do I have to? There we go. Oh, I put it in two separate stages. How very clever of me. Right. We've got about two and a half minutes, so I need to get a moon encounter in two and a half minutes. Okay, or a moon encounter. So we're looking above. Right. Here we go. So our aim is uh, we're not going into orbit. I could. I could go into orbit. I'm not going to and there a little bit more i think there we go i'm not going to go into orbit because we're going for direct descent that is the way we are going to do it that is how we are going to do it that's because we have to do it that way because uh, we need to go fast this series is about going fast and me going into orbit when i don't need to is excessive plus you've seen me going to orbit around the moon without maneuver nodes already once so well, actually, I might think in between episodes, I may think we'll have a we'll have a look. It depends if I'm on a direct encounter this time. Um, we'll go. Yeah, I'm in a direct encounter. OK. Um, where is the moon? Where is the moon? It's oh, it's there. It's right there. OK. Um, turn off that. I don't need that. Okie doke. Um, hmm. I think we're going to go for it. I think we're just going to go straight down. So first of all, we need to get our feet out. Is that good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are facing the moon. Right. Okay. I'm going to accelerate towards it. So um, when do I want to start my burn is the question. We've really got to keep our eye on this orbital velocity and our altitude. I'm thinking 30. 30 might be too late though. I don't want to kill my pilot. That's the big one that's going to be important. I've got about 50 seconds. So we're going to get to about 100 and then I'm going to start aligning myself. Here we go. 700, 600, 5, 4, 3. Slow down just a smidgen. Got about 38 seconds to go until the end of this episode. This is a bit daring, isn't it? Look, at it, it, looks, it looks a bit like, makes me feel like Tindin. Where are we going to land? That looks like a hill. Oh, great. Looks like a very hilly area. I'll do that actually before I think about anything else. Um, ideally, it would have been somewhere like that with land, but that looks like it's going to be a hill. Okay, right. Um, 
Are we going? Yeah, we're going for this. We don't have a choice now. We're going in. We're going in. So, um, yeah, we're going to get to the... I'm going to I'm gonna pause this. Uh, we're going to do this uh, for the end of the episode because the end of the episode is coming now. So there we go. So I'm going to pause this. And from me, until next time, have a great one. <laughs>